Hey, greetings and welcome back. Do you see what I've got in my hand here? Oh yeah. It is time to name the puppies. Thanks for all your suggestions. I'm going to call the mama, the female, which actually I think it's her. Yeah. I'll call her Penny. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to call her Maisie. I'll call the dad Cricket and I'll name one of the little ones Penny. They're both female so I can't use Milo. Uh, but that's what we'll do. I've never used one of these but they're incredibly easy to make. Just take some paper, some marking from the ink squid, and a piece of string to tie it on their necks and there you go. Name tag. So let's uh, get one here. Right click it. There we go. P-E-N-N-Y. Penny. Done. And that was the female, right? Yes. Okay. Uh oh. What? Yikes. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I wonder if they have to be completely familiarized. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I have to come out and pet these guys every day. Well, uh, let's get the other one ready. Penny. Oh, that's actually good. I was going to call her uh, Maisie. Penny is for the little guy. One of the little ones. Where is Penny? Right there. Yikes. Okay. Uh, Peace out, little man. Or little girl, I should say. So I'm assuming that... Okay, so Penny... We'll call this uh, Maisie. And this one, Cricket. Come on, here boy, here Cricket. Here Cricket. I can't even reach him in there. I need to get him out of there. Anyway, uh, it looks like I have to tame these all the way before I can name them. Bummer. Oh well. I'll put these in here. And that might be a while before they're named then. Okay, well, we gave it our best shot. It is late winter already, the 4th of February. Pretty soon spring will be here, and I need to think about replanting the gardens. Uh, let me show you something. If I grab the hoe here and switch the mode to fertilizer, we can tell exactly where we had planted crops before. If you see these three boxes, each crop takes one type of nutrient kind of like real life. That's why farmers rotate their crops from soybeans to corn to wheat or whatever. Soybeans, I think, add nitrogen to the soil and take other nutrients. Corn takes nitrogen and adds very little, I think, but it might add some. Uh, but anyway, this row here, we did not plant anything, so there are still all the nutrients there. This row we planted, I forget what, but a certain type of nutrient is gone. So if we plant a crop here, we have to make sure that it uses a different nutrient or just leave this fallow for a year, just not plant anything in there for a year. This row, to, row is good to go. However, we can add fertilizers, sylvite, find sylvite and grind it and make fertilizer. Oh yeah, let me put this away. But I have not found any rock salt um, biomes yet, so I haven't even gone looking for sylvite. And the house decorating projects that I want to do, which I think I'll do this time yet, this episode yet, but in order to do that, I need different dyes. I want to make some paintings. It's too cold to work on the barn. And I want to decorate the house here. I'm getting ready to make a wrought iron anvil. I have a couple more ingots being cooked up right now. Uh, yeah, so, but what I need to do next is go go mining. I'm basically out of resources to work in the forge room. I should just have enough time to go mine and then be back in late spring, time to plant the gardens and keep working on some building projects. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go get some resources and then I will be back to make some paintings. And that is what I call a platinum mine, although it is poor stuff, but I got a vessel and a half of it. I have great plans for this stuff. Ho-ho, and here we have 
Saltpeter. Ta-da! We will use this to make gunpowder. All I need yet is uh, sulfur powder yet as well. And then we can start making gunpowder and powder kegs. Sweet! Woohoo! Well, I've come about exactly 2,000 blocks west from where our settlement is. There's some horses over there, and I just saw what looks like rice on top of there. I might go grab that. But this, check this out. Sugar cane galore. I think you need a knife to collect this, to harvest this. I will, I'll try once. It's just my hand, and no, I guess not. Sugar cane. Huh. Does a sword work better? Not necessarily. Okay, sweet. I want to grab this stuff and take it back with me. And yes, I am on foot. I decided not to mess with the donkey. It's too slow. It's too easy to fall into ravines because you're not paying attention. You always have to tie it up when you go mining. I'm just hoofing it. Huh. I'm hoofing it without a donkey. Huh. Whatever. Anyway. Let's keep going. <clears throat> well, I'm glad I brought another made another pickaxe before I came. I used the other one completely up and I might as well grab some sulfur because then I'll be able to make gunpowder. So if I can do that without burning I shall. Woohoo! Rich copper. Tetra Hedite, tetrahedite, something like that. I don't mind if I do. Oh, finally. Lemonite. Finally, that's the stuff I came for. <sighs> what time is it? It's already early spring. Wow. Actually, I didn't even know that. It is the first day of spring. Early spring. I'm going to get some lemonite and then think about heading back. I might keep going and I might not. But anyway, let's mine some lemonite. Woohoo! I'm out of sandwiches. My pro pick is almost dead, but I have found it. Cinnabar. I still want Malcolmite as well, and I still need an olive tree. I've looked at about eight trees since last time. <sighs> no olives yet. Yes! Haha! -ha! And I'm three for three, and I thought I'd let you guys in on it. Finally! Olive trees! Four for four? Yes! Okay. Alrighty, now the only thing I need yet is Malcolmite, and I won't find it in this Dolomite area, or actually this is basalt, I think. Yeah, basalt rock. I am out of food. I ate the last of my sandwiches. It is like the fourth or fifth day of, s of early spring already. It is the fourth day. Oh, I need to get back. I am about 5,000 blocks from home and yikes, bears. Bears and pigs and... Are we good? They don't attack unless they are hungry, right? Either way, I'm out of here. Okay, uh, let us quickly try to find some Malcolmite yet, and then I will be very pleased with this trip. Boy, see, this area is a lot better than the equator. I just don't believe it. Like, why would a temperate forest be so much better than the tropics? As far as having trees and... Here's more sulfur. I, I just don't get it. But anyway, I'm very happy. And I am going to head home. And on my way back, look for Malcolmite. Yay! And one more thing. These are birch trees. Not aspen. They are actually birch. See if I can get a sapling. Hey, that was Hickory. What? That was that guy there. I don't want that. Birch. 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 Must have birch want birch. Well, if this looks familiar, it's because it is. I gave up looking for it, and on the way back, I swung around here to collect some of this stuff. And that mine, as you remember, is close to this lovely, lovely little cabin. Brings back so many memories. Seems like a long time. But it really hasn't been. Stay away from my cabin. 
Okay, at first light we are heading home. Oh, oh you have no idea how good it is to be back. Oh, I need to get organized. I'm going to call it an episode, guys. I guess it's going to take a long time for me to get all the stuff sorted in the right barrels. The cinnabar and the magmite, the limonite, and all that stuff over there. And the trees in here and get the olive trees planted. Sixth of early spring already. Well, I am going to decorate the house just a little bit yet next time. And then we will go out and... Uh, keep going. I was going to say plant the garden, but I don't want to plant the garden until uh, until May or, or so, at least. Yeah, not until May. So we've got a little bit yet to uh, keep going with our wrought iron and get the house spruced up a little bit and get ready to celebrate our two-year anniversary. And I will see you guys next time.